you have absolutely no idea what home recording gear you need. You have no idea where to even start. Are you afraid of wasting thousands of dollars on the wrong recording gear? You're plagued with clicks, pops, dropouts, glitches, and undetected hardware. You are frustrated. You are pissed. You have a headache and it seems easier to quit. This was supposed to be fun! Are you afraid of wasting thousands of hours fixing your recording rig? Killer Home Recording setting up smashes the problems of putting together a recording rig. The most comprehensive plain English explanations imaginable. You'll have no trouble finding the perfect gear for you. The comprehensive audio glossary will make sense of all the jargon. You'll discover how to avoid the technical problems in the first place. We'll lift the burdens of computer recording. We'll tear down all the walls. You'll save thousands of dollars. You'll avoid hundreds of headaches. You'll be on your way to making killer home recordings in no time. Whatever you do, do not spend the dime on recording equipment before you get your hands on Killer Home Recording setting up. Okay, uh, that video is completely ridiculous. I don't even know why I make those. People are going to think I'm joking. Uh, but no, I am serious. Okay, we're going to do a real quick blast through of, of Killer Home Recording setting up and kind of show you what's going to be in it um, without giving away too much. Uh, Got to go fast here. I, a YouTube 10 minute thing kind of... Kind of comes by pretty quickly. Okay, so let's go ahead and start at the table of contents here. The uh, first thing we cover is standalone recorders versus computer recording. It's always a gigantic issue uh, deciding which route to go. Um, both have very distinct advantages, and neither one is superior for everyone. Um, there are certain things that either can do that the other can't do. And so we really really break it down in you know, 22 pages uh, for basically you to decide what's best for you. Okay, next we go... Uh, we kind of cover an overview of the computer recording process, and we start with an analog mixer, actually, and kind of show how that works, how how signal flows, um, and then we kind of compare how, how it works with recording software. Um, and the two are, are related and are very close, actually. They're designed to kind of mimic one another, so um, that's a really good way to kind of explain uh, how the whole process works in general, and it's a good foundation to build on. On to beginner recording gear stuff. In recording gear stuff, uh, I really focus on, well, as you'd expect, uh, what to buy and what not to buy. Um, it's really tough figuring out with all the competition and all so many brands and different you know, points of view and advice. It's so hard to find what you really need. And so I've really taken a lot of time and, and uh, emphasized uh, every little feature and every little thing um, to make it easy as possible to find it, what's exactly right for you and your budget, because everybody's going to be different. And you can see here, um, electric guitar, for example, I've kind of taken a different approach. Here, let me highlight that real quick. Uh, a different approach to it than I, than I can do on record and review because of the, the time constraints. But um, I've kind of given specific advice for your specific situation. So if you're a guitar player and you've had your tone down for years and you have the sound, well, all you really want to do is capture that. Well, I have advice for you. But then then again, if you're just a, a bass player who maybe wants to throw some guitar down and just kind of wants a general, you know, kind of across-the-board versatile setup, I have totally different advice for you. And I've really done that for all uh, electric guitar, bass, drums, etc. And I think it really helps uh, find exactly what's right for you in your given situation. And that's something you never find on forums. Okay, moving on. Uh, the audio interface, which is always a big deal. It's always tough to find the right one for your needs. Um, compatibility is always a train wreck, and getting the features you want and figuring out what those features are is always a problem. And I hit most of this in, home, in the Home Recording Sound Card Wizard, but I go into a little more depth on uh, explaining the features and really kind of hitting, uh, figuring out what's right for you. Okay, recording software. Uh, people fight so much about this, and I, I don't know why. Um, There's so much good software out there, and very, very few bad ones, I think. Um, so really, I kind of talk about what's good, what to avoid, um, what features to look for, and one you really should uh, take note of, 
my favorite one, is features you won't look for. And these are features you won't find on the box. Uh, not that the box is ever useful for anything, but uh, basically these features um, are the kind of things you need to ask around on forums to find out about. And I'm not going to get into much detail here. Just, just look out for that one. That was a good one. Okay, and another big fun debate is the uh, Mac versus PC. And why this is such an issue, I'll never know. But uh, it seems to be a big militant war. Whatever. Um, but both both computers have their merits, both methods. And um, I kind of break down what's good about either one and what's, what's not so good about either one. Uh, so you can ultimately decide for yourself. Okay, uh, PC computer stuff. This is specific stuff for uh, PCs. Mac guys do not have to deal with any of this. And a lot of this goes into um, what goes the guts of the computer, um, understanding what a motherboard, RAM, hard drive, etc. is. Um, you can kind of skip that chapter if you have no interest, but it's kind of a good overview in real layman's terms. Um, next is computer performance optimization. Now this is absolutely required for any PC user. Uh, if you're going to record on a computer, you have to know this stuff, period. Um, if you don't know this, uh, your problems are multiplied by a zillion. I figure I can I can solve 80% uh, of your problems right here immediately. So definitely check out this one. Cables is boring. Kind of, you know, it's a real quick overview for beginners. Whatever. Okay, beginner studio construction. Um, don't take this the wrong way. This isn't really a guide to how to build a studio. In fact, it's quite the opposite. It's what not to do uh, when you first jump in. Um, it really urges you to make sure you know this and that before you make the big leap. A lot of people jump right into recording and think they need to, uh, you know, get their big pretty desk and mount their studio monitors on it and make the room all pretty like it's some magazine cover. But there's a lot more that goes into it. And uh, I kind of explain all the pitfalls you could fall into before you're ready for, you know, mega construction. And, of course, I have the poor people. Um, I'm trying to uh, help you ultra-broke people out. Of course, I'm not helping you very much. I only give you eight, what, eight pages? <laughs> yeah, eight pages. But uh, this is kind of the approach that if you have $9 in your pocket, what do you do? And I kind of really, this is kind of my off-the-record advice. Like, okay, you have no money? Well, here's we're going to put it together with a coat hanger and, and duct tape and see what happens. So I've got all you poor people really taken care of. And here's another epic one that, that uh, is going to do a lot of good for a lot of people, I think. It's the troubleshooting. Uh, we all have so many problems uh, with our recording rigs. And understanding what's really going on inside the computer is the big start. And I kind of really break down the fundamentals here. And I plan on expanding this section both on the Killer Home Recording uh, setting up and on the Turbo Member Forum uh, for, for Killer Home Recording users only. So I think this is going to be a big, 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 big deal. And then we have MIDI. Uh, MIDI is a, is a tough thing for a lot of people. And uh, when you understand it, it's so simple. It's, it's like tying your shoe. But but understanding it, I guess we give these robotic kind of vibes of, of what we think MIDI is. So anyway, I really kind of take all that off. And it's really simplified and break it down in layman's terms and kind of really explain what it is. Um, and not only does this section kind of talk about what MIDI is, but it talks about how what to buy. Uh, for our synths and samples and that sort of thing, um, MIDI routing and, and kind of the, the programming side a little bit. And I'm not a robo expert on this side, but but I can ha you know handle my own. So I kind of wanted to share that with you at least. Okay. Lastly, we have the glossary, and the glossary is kind of self. That's pretty obvious. So a um, lot of terms to know in recording land, and so. Anyway, I hope that uh, you beginner people can uh, can get all that cleared up. So, let's kind of go over the whole thing real quick. We've got Killer Home Recording setting up. We're going to go ahead and cover um, standalone recorders versus computer recording. We're going to do an overview of the computer recording process. Uh, we're going to cover beginner recording gear stuff, what to buy. We're going to cover audio interfaces, recording software, Mac versus PC, PC computer stuff, computer performance optimization, cables, beginner studio construction, ideas for the ultra broke recorder, aka poor people, troubleshooting, MIDI, and a glossary. So I hope you like it. Uh, make sure you check out Killer Home Recording setting up.